video on the second example, I kind of had a weird old sign, like, uh, we fixed it, we played through it, but let's revisit it. Uh-huh. Okay. So what do I want to do? I want to graph them two by two, and it goes, and it goes, and it goes. What makes that sound? Post it below. Ready? Here we go. I want to pull out my common factor. Why? Why? Because it's grouped up in there. But what's left over in here? That guy and that minus sign. This is A minus B. Oh boy. On that next one, I'm going to two-step it. That same old two-step. Yes. Oh, I wish I had something to drink. Because then I could have my drink and my two-step. My drink and my two-step. It's on. It's on and on and on. I have a common factor of X. After I go, I pull that X out and left in on the inside. You have B minus A. Da -na, da -na. But wait, there's more. These almost look the same, but they're out of order. So what are you going to do? You're going to employ the flipping negative. The flipping what? Check right there for more specifics. In that video, we were like, if they were like this, pull a minus sign out, and it changes the sign. So I will do that now. I pull that minus outside this term, and then left on the inlet, inside, the flipping negative changes the order. So then we'll write that as A minus B. So here we can see that we do have that common factor, A minus B, with that Y on the outside. So with this guy, boom, I have my common factor. And I can pull it out front or pull it out back. It's your preference. So then, this is A minus B. Mm -hmm. And then in here, we see that we're going to have the leftovers. This is Y minus X. Very nice. Box and flower. But wait, there's more. I want to explore this guy right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one's real nasty. Cortina. What are you going to do? You're going to take them two by two. This is a tough one. A rough one. What's my common factor? They both have an X to the N. Oh, then, I pull out that X to the N, and then left over on the inside, I'm going to have a Y to the N. Ooh, what do I put there? That's that placeholder. That minus one. Fun. Notice now if you went, ooh, ooh, you would. Come original, you come original. So what am I going to pull out of here? A two. Deuces. And then, on the inside, you have y to the n minus 1. Fun. So do we have a common factor? Yes! That's our common factor. It's the same. Yeah. Um, so, I pull that out. This is y to the n minus 1. And then, in the other bubble, is these leftovers. So I'll have an x to the n plus 2. Oh. And you need parentheses. Yeah. One more. This next one is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, boy. So you group them two by two. How'd that work for you? It didn't. It's a head scratcher. Oh, I see. It's out of order. You're out of order. So what are you going to do? Reorder it. I'm going to take that and rewind it back. I'm going to put it over there and see how it works for me. Okay, so here we see. We have x to the 3 plus 4x to the 3rd y minus 20y minus 5. I commuted those terms. And now I will take them two by two. Yeah, what makes that noise? 
Okay, so then I pull out an X to the third time. Oh, no! This is all just what happened. Play the ball where it lies. We'll see where we go. What's left over on the inside? That placeholder, that one, fun, plus, four, y. Yeah, I guess that should have been in blue. You're my boy, blue. What are you going to pull out of here? Dun, dun, dun. Common factor and include that minus sign. So then we pull out that minus five. And then left over on the inside, we are left with 4y. That minus changes that sign to a plus. Oh, geez. 1. Are these two the same? Commutative property says yes. So what? I was wrong once. It was that time I thought I was wrong. Yeah, you can use that. All right, so. This is x to the third. I'm just going to commute these so that it's easier on the eyes. 4y plus 1 minus 5 times 4y plus 1. Do I have a common factor? I do. And I factor it out now. So I pull out that 4y plus 1. And then left over on the inside, I have all those leftovers. And that's x to the 3 minus 5. Do I put these in parentheses? Absolutely. 